Hello, as you can see in the roadmap of System I.O., in progress, you have the possibility to create an optional input field. Uh, let's say in your capture form, you ask for the email and the first name, but you don't want uh, to be mandatory. Or maybe you ask for the first name, the email and the phone number, but you don't want the phone number to be mandatory. People can just enter the first name, email and submit the form. So at the moment, it's not possible on a form. All fields are mandatory. It is in progress, so it will be possible sometime in the future. But uh, how have we been doing for the past five years with System.io to have optional input fields? I will show you the, how to do it. It's uh, with a, a bit of JavaScript. So we create a form and we put the fields so you, you have to know that the email, of course, is the only one who is really mandatory because when you add a con contact form, I mean, a capture page, you have to have the email and all the rest, the first name, phone numbers, you can add them, but a capture form cannot exist without the email. So for the first name or an optional field one, optional field two, a phone number, you add your fields here. And on each field, when you click on them, on the left at the bottom, you have the ID attribute of this field. So you need to collect those ID and put them in the JavaScript so that the JavaScript will know which fields you want to make optional. And also you will take the button, so it's the same, the button to submit the form. On the left at the, at the bottom, you find the ID and you take it and you put it in the script. So for the script on the page, you can add HTML, raw HTML, and inside you will put this script. So that's it, there's only this. And in this script, you can see at the start, we have a variable which holds all the IDs of the fields. And for each ID, we put a default value that we will want to have saved with the contact if this contact didn't put anything in the field. So here I, I put some uh, default value. You could put a space, you know, at minimum, it should be a space character, but you can also have something. For instance, if you want the first name to be optional, you can say that if the contact doesn't fill in his uh, first name, you will replace it with my friend. So that in your emails, when you write hello, first name, it will say hello, my friend things like this. Same for the phone number. The phone number is this one, the third one. And this field is particular because you cannot put anything inside like a space or my phone. No. System IO check that this field is filled in and it checks also the value of this field. It needs to be in a certain format. So the format required is a series of numbers or you can have a plus sign but this plus sign is only at the first, at first, you know, for international numbers. So plus 33 and a phone number, or you can add just the phone number. So it should be only numbers. So the default value that I put here is one zero one zero one zero one zero. So that, you know, when you use the value of those fields, for instance, the phone number is often when you want to save a contact with the phone number. If, if there is a phone number, you want to send them an S SMS. A phone message. So in your third party application to send SMS, you can add a condition. You say, if the phone number is 101010, don't send a SMS. In all other cases, you send the SMS because you know that this default value means that the contact didn't give his phone number. So this is the, the logic of the rest with other softwares. Then after this, you have another variable, which is just the ID of the button. And uh, so in the rest of this script, you can see at the bottom, there is one function here. You don't need to, to, to understand what it does because this function is just to change the value of a field. And with System.io, you cannot just change the value of a field like you will do in a HTML page. You, know, you need to do it this way in order so that the JavaScript engine of System.io knows that this field value has changed. 
You know, so this is important, but you don't need to understand what it does. You just need to know this function is here because we will call it to change the field value before the form is submitted. So really, the core of the script is here. And what it does, the first line here and the last line is to close uh, this script and just call it after the page has loaded so that everything is, is done. The page is here and then the script uh, starts. So really, we just have this left to see. The first line here is just to take the button. You know, the, we have the ID of the button. James button here is the ID of the button. And what we will do with this is only this here. So we add uh, an event listener to the button. So we wait for a click. When there is a click on the button, that's when uh, System.io will check the value of the fields and will return an error if one field is not filled in with the value or if the value is not correct, like in the phone number. So at this moment, on the click, we want to execute what is inside um, before System.io checks the value of the field. That's why here you see uh, as a, this is a closing. This line is the closing of this line. Okay. So here we have added true. Why is that the true? Is because there is an order in event listeners. There, there are three phases, and System.io listen to to the an, another phases. But with true, we want to be in the first phases, which is a capture phase. So we want to execute this script before System.io has a chance. To, to do its own thing. So we are left with this. And uh, so the same, huh? the last line close the first line. And what we do here, we do a loop for all those fields that we we want optional. So we do a loop and inside this loop, we just check is the value empty? If yes, then we change the value and we put the replacement. So for each value, we will put, for instance, if this field is empty, then we put this value inside. So for the phone number, it will be a corrected formatted phone number. So we change the value. And then after it's done, System.io will also react to the click on the button. We'll check the value of the fields. We'll see that everything is filled in with the default values. So it will accept the form. And in effect, this script makes the fields optional. Because if the user doesn't fill them in, they will be filled with the default value that you have set here. So that's how we have been doing for five years with System.io. And now, soon, in a moment, it will be possible to uh, set each field optional or, or mandatory. But even when this uh, feature comes, this script that I showed you will continue to work. You know, you don't have to change anything on your capture pages. It will still work. But if you decide to use this instead, I don't know if they will provide a default value uh, or just make it optional and let it be empty. I don't know what they will do, but the script will continue to work anyway. So that's not a problem for the future when this feature will come out. Thank you. Bye bye.